Hey, this is Drew from Min Audio. Welcome back to Audiophile Tech Tips. XLR adapters to RCA adapters to uh, SB diff AES, all kinds of situations where you got to figure out maybe you need to do some kind of conversion. Now I've got here the Lena stack. I've got the Lena DAC and the Lena headphone amp. In this situation, you're not really going to need these adapters, but I'm going to use this as a staging area to show you why you why you might need them, how they work, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say that you have a preamp and that preamp has a balanced output and an RCA amp output that are going to go to a speaker amp. And on that speaker amp, you've only got either RCA input or XLR input. Now, do I want to use an XLR adapter in this situation? Okay, so my preamp's got RCAs and it's got XLRs, and the amp's got one of the two that this preamp has. Some people are inclined, when they've got just RCA inputs on their amplifiers, to say, well, the balanced output in my preamp sounds better, or it might be better, or it's a true balance versus a pseudo balance output. Should I use that XLR output to go to my amplifier that's got RCA inputs only? Well, it really comes down to the circuit design, okay? If the design of your preamp is not true balanced, but they're doing a splitter, an op amp splitter to create a balanced output so that you're gonna run, let's say you've gotta run a really long length of cable and you wanna deal with common mode rejection. In this situation, if your amp is, and preamp are stacked on top of each other and you've got RCAs on the amp and RCA and XLR on the preamp, and really it's not a true balanced preamp output, I would just say use the RCA outputs and go from the preamp to the speaker amp, okay? You're not gonna get any benefit from the XLR outputs unless you need more gain. The XLR outputs on your preamp most likely have extra gain. I'm gonna make up some numbers. Let's just say that the RCA outputs have three volts and the XLR have six volts. Well, that's gonna get you a little more headroom in volume, if you will, on the amplifier. You're gonna drive the input stage of that amplifier a little bit more. If you've got a situation where you don't have enough gain control and you need the extra volume, then you may want to use that RCA, uh, RCA to XLR adapter, and you'll put essentially this kind of adapter, an RCA male to, well, this is the wrong side. You do a female XLR on the downstream in the speaker amp, and now you can get an extra bit of dB gain to increase the, the volume in your room. But if you have plenty of volume in your room, in some situations, that splitter balanced output mode may not sound as good as that single-ended output because that's the pure single out, it's the pure signal path, if you will, from that preamp. So in that situation, I wouldn't use an XLR adapter to convert from that XLR output into the amplifier's RCAs because you may be actually deteriorating the sound in this situation. It just comes down to your situation of what the circuit's doing. Let's say you've got a true, fully balanced uh, uh, power amplifier and it's only got XLR inputs and your preamp's got RCA and XLR outputs, you definitely want to use those XLR outputs if you can. Let's say you're running those XLR outputs over to your dual subwoofers in the corners because it's only got XLRs for some reason. So you'll want to do an RCA to XLR adapter to plug into that balance stamp. And there are different ways to tie pin three and pin one. Pin three is usually used for the return signal for doing common mode, re mode rejection, and the pin one is for grounding. Well, in most XLR adapters, we tie that pin three and that pin one together because we're trying to avoid ground hum or, or we, you know, it's, it's not balanced output, so we've got to send a single-ended output to the amplifier. Sometimes you may want to lift that, you may want to lift that pin three and just use the ground. Again, comes down to the circuit design. Make sure you talk to the manufacturer of your preamp mirror amplifier to see what's better. Um, AES and SB diff outputs. So SB diff is normally RCA, AES is uh, XLR. Let's say your CD player's got an XLR AES output and your DAC, like this Lena DAC, only has SB diff uh, uh, RCA inputs. You can't just use one of these adapters, okay? You've got to put an adapter that's got a transformer inside to convert the impedance from 75 ohms to 110 ohms, okay? You can't just do that with an adapter and you're gonna destroy the sound of that digital signal. We've got different adapters for that by a company named Conair where they can actually put a transformer in these and take care of that situation. Now, when do I wanna buy a Moon Audio adapter, which is like $40 a pair, uh, a Cordis 
adapter that's I think 149 a pair and I can't remember what the premium Cardus XLRs are they're like 220 or something like that um we'll put the prices down below but anyway if you've got an uh, you know a nine thousand dollar headphone amp and a twelve thousand dollar DAC you're gonna go with the premium premium adapters why materials matter they're using in this Cardus adapter their uh rhodium plated connectors um internal wiring is Cardus uh Litz golden ratio wire, so much better wire. When you step down to their less expensive uh, um, XLR adapters, so this black part, the XLR part, this is a Nutri connector and this is a Cardus connector. So you lose some uh, sound quality, if you will, very small sound quality, you know, so this is really for the very expensive equipment, very expensive cables. This is for, you know, moderate priced, thousand, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars equipment. And then the Moon Audio is more for the, you know, 500, maybe to 1,000, depending on what the device is and how many of these you need to do your, do your conversions. Lots to go over here. This is not the same as converting single-ended and balanced on headphone amps on the front of the, on, on the front of like the Lena here. Totally different situation. There's a whole other video that we've done on that. And we've got a great blog called Balanced Adapter Caution. Now that's only for headphone amps. It's not for this situation. We're going to write another blog on this type of situation. So you understand which one of these adapters you might need for your setup. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I educated you a little bit. Make sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next week.